Hola, mis amigos. We're back with the glorious Moonlight Crossing after a brief uh, hiatus of sorts. I've been kind of busy, but um, I can't remember where we were last time, but I'm just assuming that if you're watching this, uh, you you know what, what's going on. Well, even though I may not. Okay, I'm... Um, uh, I'm going to assume this is where we were at. Talking to Atina... More Pleone, the cute moth girl, talking to other moths. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okie dokie. Last we left off, Atina said, Well, I guess I can check in my old junk. I just think, or I think I shoved a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff the kids had in this cabinet. That was definitely a, a whiff on that one. Definitely not my best uh, reading ever. Let's see. Looks like some stuff from your kids is in here too. So we have kids. There's Maya Maya's liar, Lire, Liri, Electra's DS Vite, DS Vitae, Vite. Al Alcione's Al Alcione Alcione Al Capone's toy boat Stereopes Steropes Steropes horse crop One of the one of Enceladus 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 Insolidus's, Insolidus eyes, Insolidus eyes. I think that's, I think that's supposed to be just S, uh, little uh, doohickey superscript thing. Uh, no other S. Uh, I've, I, you know, I, I barely made it past English comp, but I think. Don't quote me on that. Wooden spears. And here we are. Aegon, Aegeon, 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 Aegon, I'm just calling him Aegon. Aegon's boxing gloves. Fought and boxed other dragons. Good one. Oh, thanks. You ever think of how your kids are doing, Pleone? Sometimes, but I'm fairly confident of their ability to take care of themselves. I mean, sure, they got four hands, four arms. I imagine if I had four arms, I would... Oh, man, that'd be awesome. I'd freak people out, but could you imagine? I think my productivity would... I mean, I guess I'd still only have one. I mean, I could go play some handball. I'd be pretty good. Pretty good goalie in hockey or soccer, you know? Even though I'm not good at either of the sports, but hey, give me another set of arms, I bet I am. What about their fathers? <laughs> their fathers? Damn, Pleione! Get around, girl. Look at some water. I mean, they were all mortals, so I didn't get to know them all too well. Know them, yeah, know them too well. <laughs> I didn't want to take over their lives when they could accomplish so much more themselves. Dang. <laughs> yeah, that's valid, I guess. From my experience, it really hurt when each of my husbands died. I'm sorry, Tina. You still have your sons, though. And they've had actual bloodlines, haven't they? I haven't met any of them. But I'd like to sometime. It's really weird how mortals keep going on forgetting where they came from, especially the humans, and yet they keep finding new meanings for themselves. Maybe we'll find out where humans come from in this universe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway... I'm gonna use these gloves to find out, or find that wine. Shouldn't take long if it's in milkweed. That's the forest. Yeah. Yeah, have fun, I guess. 
Dot, dot, dot. Cabalos, you coming? Aw, yep. Look how adorable it is. I've got here a set of Aegon's boxing gloves. Give it a sniff and see if you can find anything here in Milkweed. Yeesh! This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. The heebie-jeebies. Yep. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> Cabolo sniffs around a bit, meandering about the place, and then finding settles, or then finally settles on a bush. Yep. There? All right, then. What is... There... What? What is... There's a skeleton key right here. Did Obreon kill this man? Obiron... Well, he's not here for me to get angry, or he's not here for me to get angry at him, and... Oh! Is that the wine bottle? Good boy, Kabolos. Let's get it to Atina right now, and... Fwump! Crash! Boom! Oh no, I tripped and dropped it! Oh no, she broke it, didn't she? Well, she said it'd be fine if it was broken, so this is okay, right? I'll go tell her the news, and she shouldn't be too mad. Although, if she is mad, that, uh, that wouldn't be good. Uh, hey, Atina. Hey, Play. Pleb. What's up? Um, yeah? I found your wine. Really? Let's have let's have at it then. And uh I, I, I kind of tripped and broke it. You what? I uh I got excited after getting it that I didn't see where I was stepping and uh I I mean you're fine with it being broken, right? I was fine with it being found broken. I am not okay with your breaking it. I'm really sorry. Or, I'm really sorry. I don't know how to make that sound genuine. <laughs> sorry, Adina. You gave us the rules. You did not give us the circumstances. I waited all this time to get something back from my only living family left besides you two. And you just casually go and break it? I can't really do a, a good Sundede voice. But, stars above, just what's wrong with you? I, I'm going to leave. Ch, ch, I think that's sheesh, or ch, I think that's a ch, <sighs> I roll. Um, Kika? Pleone! I, uh, found a wine bottle for Adina that got lost in the post. That's cool, I bet she was hitting it immediately. And then I, um, I tripped and broke it. Kablamo? <laughs> Kablamo? Oh, no! Yeah, but Adina said it was alright if I found it broken, so I figured she'd be okay with it. But she got pretty mad. Yeah, I can totally see that. But what do I do? Well, first the wine itself is probably helping push up daisies at this point. So, so there's no way I can fix it? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Eureka! I got it! You know, it's not 100% fix, or it's not a 100% fix, but I could at least help you put the bottle back together again with my magic, right? But you think she'll be okay with that? It'll be fine. You did everything you could do, or you did everything you, you could do. 
You did everything you could do. Yeah, I read that right. Right? And it's better than nothing. All right. It was around here. Watch your step. I'm flying, you goof. You watch your wing? Oh, that's a carpal tunnel. Oh, it's getting me. I gotta stretch my wrist real quick. Ha <laughs> ha, sure, but you should probably quit while you're ahead. Uh, okay. Alrighty, that is certainly a whole bunch of glass shards. Shouldn't be too hard from here, but watch my back, Kay. Splinters of the treasured past, remember thy true form. Re fa e just test q la is do in mud a fe fe we fe a q la izuli. Ta da! Wow, it looks good as new. Well, as new as it can be without the wind, and, um, I did what I could, anyway. Atina will totally love it. Definitely. Let's go, then. Atina! Ugh. What now, Pleone? I get that you screwed up and all, and I'll get over it eventually, but if you bother me now, I'm probably gonna kill you seriously. I was able to restore the bottle! Hmm, well, that's better than before anyway. Let me see. Wait, what is this? <laughs> to my dearest mother, Atina, I know that it's hard to live without me, or my father, or any of your other children, but I want you to know I'll... I can't visit you often. I think of you every day and want you to have this bottle so you can know I'm here with you at least partially. We may be apart, but our hearts are still connected. I hope you'll be able to s or I hope to be able to see you sometime. You gave me everything you could to make sure I was able to live independently and fend for myself and I appreciate that. Please give my regards to Aunt Play, Pleb, and Aunt Mel as well. Aunt Pleb was always synonymous with, well, play for me. I always, and always helped me have fun. And Aunt Mel always, or Aunt Mel taught me about the outside world and how to read and write and think. I don't think I could have made it this far in life as I could have without your help or their help. Love, Aegon. And then he went off to go find his own little island. Yeah, why does my shirt smell so bad? Oh, well, <laughs> this is not time for that. Pleone, or Pleone, thanks so much for bringing this to me. No problem. Um, about this whole evening thing. Yeah? I will... I've been thinking about it, and everyone I've ever known or cared about besides you and Melia have, has left either through dying because they're immortal or growing up and doing their own thing, like Aegon and your daughters. And I just couldn't deal with the idea of losing you two. Ah. So, yeah, that's, that's why I got all testy earlier. Well then, I promise I'll write you while I'm up there. I should have read that with more enthusiasm. Oh, like how your friend writes you? Yeah, I'll write you all the time, and you can even write back. Oh. What? Oh, I hit the wrong button, apparently. All right, I can do that. But I'll smash you into the ground if you don't, even if you are on the moon. So you better do it, got it? Got it. Yay! The gang's all here! Is everyone ready? Yep! Yes! I guess. <laughs> Woohoo! 
that means it's time. Extra special hyper rank deluxe five star super extra dimensional limited edition magic engage. Well that well with that the rebuilding of the ship commenced. Kikaya Kikakaya Kikakaya was able to manage or was able to bend the ship back together at the seams with a bit of help from the free fairy sisters. It took a whole day of sweat and exhaustion, but at but after a while it was finally done. So this is it then. It has finally been reconstructed. And you're really gonna leave for real? Yeah, I wasn't super sure for a while, since you both brought it up, or brought up I'd be leaving my family, but... I've thought about it, and I've come to realize my feelings for the matter, or, yeah, feelings about the matter, and I've, and I think I'd be sadder if I passed up this chance to go, if I went, passed up this chance to go, if I... Went and never... Okay, and I went and never saw you two again. If that's what it takes for you to be happy, then no matter what my reservations, or no matter my reservations, I have to let you go. Yeah, same here. You go meet her and tell her your feelings. Yeah. Thank you. And goodbye? Goodbye. I'll write you letters. It's a bitter parting, but I know I might see you again someday, so I'll keep that in my thoughts. Thank, thank you, both of you. I'm gonna need a new. F I'm gonna need a few drinks for this. I think. I think I may partake in, partake in that as well. Whoa, really? All right. I'll have to show you everything in my collection, then. Ah, uh, why do I fear that even my immortal self may perish before the dawn comes? So this is the part where you leave probably forever. Yeah, probably. Although maybe if the humans develop some sophisticated travel, I can hitch a ride back. Hmm. Well, you know I've been doing some reading about all of this, and did you know that the humans are thinking about putting together a sp space elevator? A space elevator, like a, a elevator? We're in Terraria now. Nice. A what? I'm not sure I follow. An elevator is something like... Something humans use instead of flying to get to high places, right? A space elevator would let them get easily into space and back. What? And that means easy travel to and from the moon might be happening soon. It's pretty weird that they... What they came up with to solve problems, huh? I know most harpies are all ew humans. They're weak and have no no magic, and they can't even fly. And they're so they're pretty useless for everything. But you know what? I think their tech is super duper cool. I can't really do anything like that easily, cause I just have my talents. And uh, a little telekinesis and make anything advanced. And making anything advanced like that or with that is like playing D, D star star. D playing dick shits. That's the only thing I can, I can make of that. S H I T. Yeah, this with the plastic guitar. But I can totally do it. Make something so incredibly awesome that people are going to be talking about me after 5,000 years gone by. You can do it, Kika. I believe in you. 
If we ever meet again, I'm sure by then you'll have accomplished it. You betcha, there's no stopping me. So please, look forward to it. I sure will. So, goodbye. And with that, I think we're going to stop the episode there. Until next time, take care. Like the video if you want to. And uh, I'll see you next time.